history has been made. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Let's get right into the story. About a week ago, the Mongolian roster in Mongols claimed a massive win at the MESA Nomadic Masters Spring 2024 tournament. Defeating Game and Gladiators, Aurora, and Bleed to make it to the semis, they made their way to the grand finals without dropping a single map in the process. They were dominant in their run, which led them to facing Bleed in a rematch and wanting revenge. Though J. Kim did well, 9-10 Sensu and Squad picked them apart in the grand final, hoisting the championship against Bleed 3-1 and claiming $50,000 in the process. So, with a freshly crowned championship, Mongols felt on top of the world, leading into the Yala Compass, one of the final tier 1 tournaments before the player break. Group stage being a piece of cake for them, Mongols bested everyone except Astralis leading into the playoffs. By being so dominant with a 4-1 record, Mongols surprised everyone with a first round bye. So winning it out, Astralis defeated Petboom in a nail biter finish that saw a third map OT win. So now, Mongols wanted revenge for their loss in the group stage, but facing a borderline tier 1 team in Astralis who were on a roll of their own wasn't going to be easy. Yet, Mongols were considered favorites and went into map 1 on Nuke. Picking apart the Danish team, they took a decisive 13-7 win. But on Mirage, Astralis played their Uno reverse card and took the win 13-6. Now, it was ancient and it went into overtime. And another overtime. And another overtime. Triple OT calling where 9-10 played like John Wick himself. Capturing 35 Ks and putting the nail in the coffin, Astralis, a top 10 team, mind you, had been slain. A huge upset behind them, Mongols needed to take out a rising wrinkle and NIP to hoist their second consecutive championship. Out the gate, Ancient went to OT again, where NIP took four straight rounds to win 16 to 12. Livid from this loss, Mongols demolished Mirage 13-7. Now Nuke was their only thing separating them from another grand final, and with NIP only taking 6 rounds in the entire game, Blitz, Sensu, and crew had done it. Claiming their second straight championship, Mongols 9-10 was named MVP with a 125 rating the entire tournament. But 9-10 claiming MVP wasn't the only history made here. Mongols winning Yellow Compass marks the first Asian team to win a Tier 1 LAN since We Made Fox won WEM 14 years ago! That's right, this is the first Asia Tier 1 LAN win since 2010! And they were rewarded for this as Mongols now sits at number 11 in world rankings. Just outside the top 10, currently sandwiched between Complexity at number 10 and Team Liquid at number 12, Mongols have a chance to bolster themselves even further further as they head to Sweden for ESL challenger Jonko Ping, which again, I hope I said that right. I heavily apologize if not. But this is a massive tournament leading into the player break, and if they win this tournament, not only will they collect $50,000 in tournament winnings, they will submit a spot at ESL Pro League Season 20. Now that would be an epic way to cap off the player break than to make another piece of CS2 history. But comment down below, do you think Mongols are a top 10 team? Are they a tier 1 team? And a huge thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out the video on on the left and why not like and subscribe it's free and it helps out a ton i'll see you in the next one thank you so much for watching have an epic rest of your day i'm out peace